And as over 100 MPs call on the Met Police to intervene, we're joined now by Anna Soubry. Um, thank you for coming in today. Thank and you. you know, you're MP for Broxtow. You strongly support the UK's membership of the EU, back the Remain in the referendum. This is Monday afternoon. This is a normal day at work for you. You should be getting on with the job in hand. And that happens. How did that feel? Were you, were you scared? I'm, I'm... <laughs> I think it's afterwards, because you're very, very conscious that they're filming it. So your natural instincts, which might be to tell them to go away, in not too polite a way, yeah. you can't do any... You just can't do any of that. So I sort of go into this mode almost like an automaton, where I lock everything out. Though I, there are certain things which just get to you and you feel this, ah, that is out of order. Being mm. called a Nazi was well out yeah. of order. Um, and the traitor bit, and somebody swore at me in the previous incident in December and so on and so forth. But, I mean, it was bizarre. I mean, we couldn't even get into Parliament. Mm. And we had to ask the police to let us in. So let's just go, go through that uh, situation then, because this is on College Green. This is outside the Houses of Parliament. And this yeah, is... which apparently is part of the estate, which I have to say I didn't appreciate fully. So it's part of the estate, actually. Sorry for So, you it's OK. So you have to cross the road to, 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 to get over there, and this is the so that you get the backdrop of, uh, of Parliament behind and all... Yeah. All the political journalists are out there on their, their podiums, their lecterns and things. So when you walked out of the Houses of Parliament, walking across the road to go and do that interview, um, was there anyone with you? Did the police say, or oh, was it a bit ugly on the other side of the road? Well, I rang the head of security, who are very good in Parliament, and said, oh, I hadn't thought about this. Are, are they out there? And he said, well, I don't really know, but I think they might be. And I took Sean with me, who's my chief of staff, who came along, because I, I just felt I ought to be doing these things now. And then I did see that they were there, but I thought it was a much smaller group being contained by the police who seemed to be arresting some of them. So I thought, well, I'll be fine, I'll be OK. And I carried on down to the green, and as you rightly identify, it's a great spot for broadcasters, and broadcasters have a right to be there. Mm. I have no difficulty with that. And long may it continue. You know, these guys, you guys shouldn't be bullied off. Um, the green. And then um, I got there and then they came down to where they stand underneath the sky platform, which is right by the road, to hurl abuse at Kay Burley, which is appalling. Mm. And then they spotted me doing my interview with the Beeb, um, which was the Nazi bit. And then they'd asked me to go on sky and I thought, well, I'm not going to be intimidated and no. bullied off here. So I went to be interviewed by Kay. Could barely hear a word she said. Yeah. So why well, that's just so bizarre. That, you, you... And then somebody asked the police, sorry, but this hasn't really come out. The producer from the BBC went to two police officers who were standing with this howling mob and said to them, I think somebody should escort her back over the road to Parliament. And they refused. So, what, so what is the deal here, then? Do the police have the power and the legislation to deal with something yep. like this? Yeah, have all the powers they need. The laws are all there. It was a, a deliberate, unfortunately, a deliberate policy by the Metropolitan Police not to intervene. Now, I know from a senior officer in Nottinghamshire who's in my patch, Nottinghamshire Police would take a very different mm. uh, view. So I wasn't asking... I'm not asking for somebody to be arrested or prosecuted. No. I'm asking the police to do their job, not treat anybody differently, mm. to maintain law and order, help. We want healthy protests. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, the, you, um, that goes on anyway. As an MP, part. you are... You're used to barracking. It's like yeah. that in the, in the house, you know, that, that's, that's, that's part of it. There comes... There's a difference between... Um, uh, people uh, legally protesting and becoming mindless, scary thugs. Um, you said that they were also abusing Kay Burley. Yeah. So that's not a political thing that's being discussed there. Then what, what was that about? Well, a lot of these have these weird conspiracy theories, and one of the things that they like to do is shout out fake news and liar. And so they were sh shouting that at Kay. In fact, she had a lot of sexist, obscene um, sh uh, abuse hurled at her by the same group in December, which, unfortunately, just police again, stood by and allowed this to happen. Faisal Islam was getting racist abuse, and one of these people actually racially abused an officer an hour before they came down to the platforms, mm. and the police didn't nick him. I, I find that quite extraordinary. Well, the common speaker, John Burko, said yesterday that he worried, was worried that this was a pattern that was forming against female MPs and journalists. Did you, I did you even considered that. that until he said, mentioned that? I, had, I, I have to say, I hadn't really thought of it like that. But I, I now know that Laura Coonsberg, the BBC's political editor, she was chased in this similar incident in December, which I also was involved in. She was chased along Parliament with a male colleague. They didn't chase after him, but they chased after Laura. 
Uh, and again, they blocked the entrances to Parliament. And again, mm. the police didn't do anything about that. But they have changed their policy on that. And I'm, I'm, I'm told the Met realise they've, they've made a mistake. I know that it was mentioned in Cabinet yesterday. Um, Sajid Javid contacted me back in December, but unfortunately nothing was done about yeah. it. And he subsequently contacted me since Monday. Yeah. Well, uh, many of these incidents were carried out by uh, a, a small group of protesters. They wear yellow high-vis jackets um, and they live-stream their actions on Facebook. They uh, block Westminster Bridge. Yeah. Um, as you say, ha have harassed politicians and, and journalists. The group organiser, James Gardard, reportedly wrote on Facebook on Tuesday morning, uh, she, you, uh, called, is called a Nazi because she's acting like one. Has anyone noticed how they bang on about equal rights for women, yet when they're approached, they go into meltdown? Facebook <laughs> has reportedly deleted that account. I don't, I don't actually read all this stuff, cos it's, it's, it's just... It's twaddle. And that's mm. me being generous. Uh, but it's dangerous, and I accept that. And, of course, it's, this is now why, I'm told, the Met is looking at exactly all those things. So they're building a profile, because there is... There is a theme in all of this. It's, I have to say it's anti-woman. Uh, mm. It's anti-people who are not white. Mm. Um, it's offensive, it's unpleasant. But what we have to say is that it's a small minority and we won't mm. let them win. They, they don't represent Leave voters either. That's the other really important thing. And, and given what happened to Labour MP Joe Cox and that horrific circumstances surrounding all of that, you would think after that that it would already be in place to protect our members of parliament. I know. I think that is the thing which you just despair at, truthfully. And there was one man who came in front of me and I thought, I, don't, I didn't recognise him at all, because I'd, I'd met, encountered these people yeah. back in December. I didn't recognise him. And I thought, who's he? And he came right in front of yeah. me. And then he seemed to go towards his jacket and Sean said he was really worried he'd got a... How do we know he hadn't got a weapon? No, mm. exactly. How do we know? I, I don't want anything special. I want to do my job, go about my ordinary business. I want broadcasters to, to be able to do the same. All we say to the police is do your job, keep people safe and keep democracy alive because it's really important. Yeah. I mean, lots of people don't agree with what I say. But, you know, I have a right to say it, just like anybody else has yeah. a right to say yeah. it. So this is about democracy and it goes to the heart of democracy. It's not about MPs wanting anything special. And I really feel for the broadcasters. It's not just Kay. I mean, can you imagine what it's like for the crews? I mean, I know we are. I used to be a TV presenter, so I know we're randomly rude about the crews as a joke. So they do a great job and we all know that. But they, <laughs> not You us. would never, never be rude never about the crews. <laughs> <laughs> really bad chief joke, but, but these guys, you know, they do do a fantastic job. And we all know how they have to hear what the director says in their ears. So there they are, standing on a platform. They can't hear things, yeah. they, can't, they can't work, and they... I, they shouldn't have to put up with no, this sort of no stuff. No good for either. anybody. It and really is. It's uh, not it, on. It has been said, and I know what you're going to say, but I will, before we'll finish on this, that, uh, that you could do these interviews inside the house and stay safe and completely quiet. But, you see, then you're giving in to them, aren't you? And, I mean, one of the... Oh, look, we all, I'm sure you do, love live television. Mm. And the backdrop is so important. It sets the scene. It, it speaks about what the show is or what the broadcast is. And it's, a, it's an absolute democratic right that mm. broadcasters should be able to go onto College Green, have that beautiful backdrop of the House of Commons, and also be able to have whoever they want on as a guest. Because there's no checking of security or anything else, and rightly so, because they to be able to freely invite anybody yeah. on. Put it inside the House of Commons, suddenly you're in a different ball game yeah. and you're giving in to these people. And peaceful protests should be allowed also. Of course. Peaceful. And there is that peaceful protest. And it was the protest, it was there yesterday. The, the people from who don't want us to leave the EU, they were all there with their flags. People who feel passionately that we must leave, they were all there. And it was peaceful. A bit loud at times, but hey, nobody has a problem with that. That's what we want in our country. Good, strong, peaceful protest within the law. Thanks, Anna. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Lovely to Thank see you. you.